My name is Jimmy Williams. Well, yes, my life has been rather ups and down. Um, as a kid, of course, I had a wonderful family life, living with my brothers and sisters and my mother. My father um, did get back with my mother and we became a family, a whole family. I think the thing that changed me and came about was when we moved into the housing development. And once we moved into the housing development, started getting into trouble. Of course, I got arrested a couple of times. Uh, one of my charges sent me off to prison. It was a year and a day sentence, did about six months. I regret it, but some things you can't erase. You just have to move forward and try to get past it. So after getting out of prison and stuff, job hunting, became very difficult because I had a record, of course. So therefore, they put barriers where certain jobs I couldn't get into, certain companies wouldn't hire me. And I met Mr. Derrick, which was the non-custodian parent program. First time meeting Jimmy, uh, you know, Jimmy had ambition, you know. Jimmy was motivated, uh, you know, but was frustrated, you know, due to the fact of not being able to obtain employment. You know, me and Jimmy worked together constantly you know, consistently, you know, via telephone, emails, and Jimmy made it his business to come in and see me. Him, he would give me job leads and stuff until I landed a job. I mean, they're great people. They was there, not only job search, but they also helped me with my child support program. I was able to go to him and he would get me papers that I needed to get in court to change certain situations in the program with my child support. Things are very much better than they was. Now I work at a decorated office furniture as a warehouse supervisor. I oversee about four different people in the daily operation. I now have um, my own apartment, which was a struggle. That includes my being able to interact more with my kids because of course it takes financial. And um, my apartment is a place that they can come as a relief, a place to breathe and be themselves. My son, which turned 18 recently, he went to college. He's in college now. So that's one of the first one of my kids to go to college, which I didn't do. But it's just a joyful feeling to know that one of them is in college and that tells me that I'm doing something right in his life. Jimmy is real dependable and I really think from this point on, uh, I think the sky's the limit for him. So if you're headed for trouble and stuff, I suggest that you find yourself instead of being a part of the crowd. Stop, think, and look at your surroundings. And take time to look at where you want to be and where you think you're headed to be. I feel as I'm a different person, I'm joyful, and I'm glad that somebody's taking this time to let me express this feeling because that is something that I always wanted to do, to be able to talk to help somebody else that's going through their struggle so they won't make the same mistakes that I made in life and won't have to go through the hardship that I went through. This is one of the many important programs of Gulf Coast that reaches the entire community and really changes lives. Because a lot of times, you know, the way that you're headed is not your destination. 